This video has to do with Elon Musk and Starlink getting high speed internet to people in rural areas that don't have it. So FedEx just dropped this off at the house of this hot chick that I know and she's been struggling even getting a phone signal from Verizon. She has to go out in the backyard and that type of thing. As far as internet goes, there are no internet providers for her house other than whatever you can get through the cell phone and a hotspot with Verizon. So she has a couple of Verizon jet packs and then she uses her phone but her speed is really slow and she signed up last year for this Starlink package and she recently got an email saying that the satellites are at capacity but if she wants to sign up for a best effort which means she's basically a second-class citizen Starlink would send her the unit she can set it up try it out and if she's disappointed with the service uh, then she can shut it off at any time she still has the unit and then when high-speed service is available in her area, they'll turn it back on. So it's October 6th, 2022, and Elon Musk is trying to bring high-speed internet to southeast Michigan, so we have as good a quality internet as the Ukrainians. We'll see how this goes. Here's a video of the unboxing. I just took tape off two sides. So we have some plastic in here. Looks like a base for the unit. And this thing right here appears to be the key to happiness. So I'll read the instructions and see what I can do to get it going. This is the instruction card that comes with it. So it looks like you just take this piece and it drops right into the base, no problem. The cable has enough room to go out the front. And then this is apparently the unit that goes in the house. And it has two plugs in the bottom. One is a receptacle that comes from outside and the other one goes into the power plug this little thing says go to the Starlink app so I'm going to go set this in her backyard run the cable inside and see what happens for a test I just walked into her backyard and I set this thing up where there's a pretty clear view of the sky there's one tree to the south but I'm going to go in the house and plug the units in and go to the app and see what happens. Now I'm in her kitchen and you see the plugs in the bottom. That big three prong is the one that will go in an outlet. And then this is the end that came from the unit that's sitting out in the backyard right now. So I'll plug these in and then go to the app. When they designed the molded part of the plug, they set it up so there's only one way the thing can go in so you can't screw that up. As I was in the kitchen, I tapped start setup, and this thing started rotating on its own to find home, so I cut it off. Now we'll go hit start setup again and see what this looks like. It took about 20 seconds for the app to find where it wanted to be and then it asked me to rename the network and when it came out of the box the network name was stinky so i renamed it and then it asked for a password i put the password in and now it says i'm connected so i'll go to the okla speed test and see what it says for speed well this is a little wrap-up discussion so this unit is amazing you see the angle that it's settled on to catch the satellites as they go around the earth. But I went in the house, the lady that lives here did the Oakla speed test and she got 108 immediately. And with the amplifier that's on the roof, with the signal amplifier on the roof and a Verizon jet pack, she was getting a speed of 10 or 11. Without the signal amplifier and just the jet pack, she was getting about 6.7. And this thing kicks out between 40 and 100. So I sat in there while she turned on Amazon on her TV, which she had been unable to watch for the three years that she's lived here because the download speed was not enough to actually run a movie. So that's an option now. And the way this thing is set up from a technology standpoint, where you get it out of the box, you mate 
that top piece to the base. Then you just run a cord through the lawn over to the house. For the temporary tonight, we just opened one window, stuck the cord in there, and then set the unit, the indoor unit, on the kitchen counter. I plugged in the cord from this outside receiver, and I plugged it into the wall, and that thing pops up. As soon as you hit the app and say acquire, this little thing in front of me here starts going whoop, and it just picks the angle and finds out exactly where those satellites are. But in summary, I'm a 50-some year old guy, and the technology here is just amazing. And the fact that it just shows up when you go to your Wi-Fi, it says Stinky. You click on Stinky, you rename it, and now you can be out here in the country with speed of 100, where before you had 7, and feel like you're in a downtown area with high-speed internet or, or fiber. So, in summary, Elon and the people at SpaceX, Starlink, did an excellent job. The technology is just amazing to me. And this is one product that certainly delivers more than advertised. I'm glad they sent her the email with the invitation to spend $500 for the equipment and then sign up for the monthly service at $110 a month. But it's just incredible the doors that this high-speed internet opens for people who live in the country. So I hope this video helped you. I hope you see that it's easy. If you have crappy internet service or slow internet service and this is available to you, I highly suggest it. And particularly if your only option today is HughesNet, based on everything I heard from them, it's time to leave them, join Elon and Starlink. And if this video helped you, please subscribe and I hope you have a great day.